today's recipe is awesome. It is a roasted garlic and butternut squash soup that I am serving in this vessel. How cool is that? This is a acorn squash, in case you're wondering. And I like to top the soup with a little chorizo and homemade croutons. It's this is phenomenal. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's get started. So over here, I have already chopped up some butternut squash. So I wanna get that covered in a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. Cool, I'm gonna give that a quick mix just with my hands. And then I'm gonna dump it onto one of my lined baking sheets. And that's just greased and lined with a little bit of parchment paper. Then I've got this entire head of garlic which I'm gonna place on there as well. My oven is preheating to 400. So before that goes in there, I'm going to prepare these. So I want to slice off the tops and then we're gonna cut a little bit off the bottom just so it stands upright. Okay, so you wanna take a spoon and now we're gonna scoop out the innards and the seeds. And then in order to make it a bigger bowl, I'm gonna scoop out a bunch of this flesh as well. And we're gonna place that on our roasting tray along with the butternut squash and it will go in our soup. Get those on my baking sheet. I wanna douse the insides with a little bit of olive oil and then a little more salt and pepper. Okay, so these are all ready to go in the oven. They are going to bake until they are fork tender and then get served on the soup. All right, so while our squash is in the oven, it is now time to turn this amazing bread Oh, I got pumpernickel into croutons. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make some nice thin slices. I wanna get those into thin slices. And then I'm gonna get little cubes here. I want them fairly small, cause I like putting a bunch and then you get lots of little bites instead of kind of big ones that you have to gnaw on. And to flavor them slightly, I'm going in with a little bit of garlic salt and some smoked paprika. And then of course some olive oil. So these are gonna bake in the oven until they're nice and crispy. We'll do that once our squash is done. Okay, our squash is all roasted. The garlic looks amazing. I let it cool for about 15 minutes because I wanna be able to handle it. Um, on that note, let's make a soup. So in my pot over here, I wanna go in with a little bit of olive oil. Then I wanna go in with my roasted garlic and I wanna cut this in half. And then I'm gonna squeeze in the cloves. How cool is that? Now this other half you can save for lots of other things. I like it on toast with a little bit of um, pesto for kind of a different breakfast. Or you can put it on pizza, there's lots of other uses. Keep it in a Tupperware, it's good in the fridge for a few days. Next thing we go in is about a tablespoon of some fresh chopped ginger. And then I wanna dump in all my squash. So I'm gonna get this on a medium heat and I want this to saute for about five minutes. Really just to warm everything through again and get the ginger kind of climatized. Next I'm going in with my chicken stock. Now this is four cups. If you find that the mixture is getting a little bit dry while you cook it through or once you blend it, you find it's a little too thick, just add some water. I find any more chicken stock than that and it gets a little bit too salty and kind of like overpowering. This has to cook now for about 50 minutes. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then simmer it off. Uh, down here, I finished my croutons. You can see they're nice and crispy. Perfect, oh, it tastes amazing. And then I fried up a little bit of thinly sliced dried chorizo. I think you can find this in most supermarkets. I wish they were healthier for you because I just want to eat them like potato chips. Just like dipped in sour cream, could you imagine? I'd do it too. Don't hold me against it. That's not that saying. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> Once our soup is done, I'm gonna go in there with an immersion blender. I wanna get it nice and smooth, salt and pepper, pour it into my bowls, top it with my toppings, dollop of sour cream, how about yes? And then I get to eat it. This is my favorite day, is the day that I get to eat, which is every day. This is capital I impressive, if you ask me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Here we go, down the hall. Oh yes, yep, mm-hmm, great job, me.